Good morning. Welcome to the channel. It's Gray Cloudy Day. And I am Gray Cloud, Sage of the Eternal Moment. Yeah, Sage of the Eternal Moment. Because that's the only moment you have. This one right here, the one you're in, the one I'm in, wherever you're at, whatever time and year it could be, that's the moment you're in. This morning happens to be a moment of a morning for me. Not morning like sadness, but morning like daylight coming. It's already here. If you could possibly hit the like button and think about subscribing, possibly. Hey, seal us. The seal is Solomon there. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. It's, uh, I guess it's July 20th. According to the way that humans tell time. Which is kind of nonsense because time doesn't exist in the reality of all things. If you understood that you are a divine being in a fleshly body and that you came from the spirit to return to the spirit, you'd know this. But I don't know. Let's just say Gray Cloud's here, but he ain't. If that makes any sense to you. It does to gray cloud. So anyway, July 20th, I'm going to read from Jesus calling. <laughs> yeah, gray cloud's going to read from Jesus calling. And here we go. Seek my face and you will find all that you have longed for. The deepest yearnings of your heart are for intimacy with me. I know because I designed you to desire me. Do not feel guilty about taking time to be still in my presence. You're simply responding to the tugs of divinity within you. Within you. I'll repeat that. You are simply responding to the tugs of divinity within you. I made you in my image and I hid heaven in your heart. Your yearning for me is a form of homesickness, longing for your true home in heaven. You do not be afraid to be different from other people. The path I have called you to travel is exquisitely right for you. The more closely you follow my leading, the more fully I can develop your gifts. To follow me wholeheartedly, you must relinquish your desire to please other people. However, your closeness to me will bless others by enabling you to shine brightly in this dark world. You going to let that light shine out of you today? That'd be my question to anybody watching. I'm not going to rehash any of the dumb stuff from the past few days that I've been down about or any of that. Uh, although, just brought it up, that kind of rehashing it, ain't it? But I'm saying I'm not going any no, I'm not going to go into details or nothing like that about what I've already discussed and have dealt with and have gotten through. And I'm here on the other side now in a better place. But at the bottom here, it's going to give us, it gives us Psalm. Give me a second. I normally would have looked this. And you know, I don't always look these up and read them to you. Because, you know, sometimes it's the way I want to do it. And sometimes it ain't. Gray Cloud don't really have much control over that. It just kind of is the way it is. But we're going to go to Psalms 42, and uh, it'll be verse 1 through 2. And this ain't taking as long as I thought, you know? And I'd rather enjoy just 
being in this moment. So Psalms 42, 1 through 2, As the deer pants for streams of water, so I long for you, O God. I thirst for God, the living God. When can I come and stand before him? And then makes it easy for me. Psalm 34, verse 5. That's weird. Anyway, those who look to him for help will be radiant with joy. I'm going to repeat that one. Those who look to him for help will be radiant with joy. No shadow of shame will darken their faces. I didn't repeat. I didn't uh, finish it earlier. Let's read it again. Those who look to him for help will be radiant with joy. No shadow of shame will darken their faces. Take it for what it's worth. Also take it with a grain of salt. Just because gray cloud's reading it to you doesn't make it any more special than if you're reading it yourself. You can get any type of translation you want that is easiest for you and you can read it and see if you think it says anything to you. I can't tell you if it does. I'm not here to tell you it does. I know that sometimes I read from this scripture and the words talk to me, but I also read from other books and sometimes you don't have to even read words, but the words will come. And that's just the way it is. Hold on, man. What happened? Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I just made sure. I got, uh, hey, I got, I got to get back in here. Okay. We'll just leave that. I'm not going to redo this video just because of that. Life happens. Heard some, I heard some yelping out there. It was a dog. Obviously, it was a pretty young puppy sounding dog. So I didn't know if it was my puppy, but I knew it wasn't because my puppy's kind of big now. And she really got almost half grown. But. It turned out to be one of Lilith's uh, little puppies that I guess, but my buddy Colton was taking care of it and getting the puppies back over where they needed to be. So we're going to go to Philippian. Uh, Phil, I think that's how you say it, Philippians. Uh, uh, two. I think it was 13, wasn't it? Just give me a second, y'all. You ain't in no rush, are you? You're going to skip on through it and just, you know. I don't know. I started paying attention yesterday a little bit. I, I, I was looking at some analytics, and I seen that some people... Only maybe I watched a minute or two of videos, but then I thought to myself, well, a lot of my videos ain't that long in the first place, so does it matter? Then I realized, Great Cloud, you don't ever pay attention to this stuff, so don't, don't start now because it's going to give you a headache. I figure as the channel grows, I'll have somebody else to keep up with that stuff and they can tell me about it. That's the way it's going to work for me anyway. I'm not going to mess with trying to keep up with it and keeping it all in my head because I, you know, like I just told myself, it's going to be one of them things that's probably going to drive me insane if I'm trying to do it all myself. And uh, so far in 50 years, I've kept my sanity, even though there were plenty of times I thought I was going insane. But, you know, now I'll say this, but the doctor did tell me that I was totally in my sane mind, but I was the craziest mf for he had ever met. And that was around the time I had my finger cut off by my friend Philip, you know. Out of conviction. 
What are you convicted of? I'm not challenging anybody. I'm just saying, are you really convicted about anything? What are you willing really to give up? Some material things? You willing to give up a limb? An eye? A kidney? Are you willing to give up the ultimate when it comes time? I don't know. Are you? Am I? That'd be the question. Yeah, I think I am. Anyway, I'm not going to give it up, but they'll have to take it. So here you go. Philippians 2, verse 15. So that no one can speak a word of blame against you, you are to live clean, innocent lives as children of God in a dark world full of crooked and perverse people. Let your life shine brightly before them. Doesn't mean I'm Mr. Pristine. But I know where my heart is and I know who my boss is, Big Kahuna. And I ain't going to even get into whether... I'm talking about the exact. You'll have to understand that Gray Cloud is no more special than anybody else. But there are things that sometimes have been revealed to me, and they have been told that to me that they're just some things I'm supposed to not share because it's just for my ears only. Then other things I can share. So what I've talked about today is nothing that's secret. And it's not that it's secret. It's just some things that have been revealed to me, uh, most people won't understand. When the time comes, and uh, I've been given the ability to word it in such a way that people might be able to comprehend what it is that I've been shown, then that will happen. And, um, you know, the big kahuna loves you. Uh, Great Cloud's telling you that right now. Big kahuna. There, 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 there. Be blessed. Be blessed. Great Cloud's blessed by the best. Anyway... And you know who used to say that all the time? My friend Philip that cut my finger off with a pocket knife and a rock in the kitchen sink in Morganton, North Carolina. If you don't believe me, you can go there and ask a few people and they will tell you. And a few of them were even there and they would swear and tell you exactly what happened. Anyway, they'd probably get to give you a few details that they add in there because every one of them did except for philip the only one that knew and spoke the story just like i speak it was philip me and him were pretty much in our same minds and we weren't that messed up so till next time great cloud saves the eternal moment over and out ditto